Phosphorus 32, Wikipedia article audio. Phosphorus 32 is a radioactive isotope of phosphorus. The nucleus of phosphorus 32 contains 15 protons and 17 neutrons, one more neutron than the most common isotope of phosphorus, phosphorus 31. Phosphorus 32 only exists in small quantities on Earth as it has a short half-life of 14.29 days and so decays rapidly. Decay Phosphorus is found in many organic molecules and so Phosphorus 32 has many applications in medicine, biochemistry, and molecular biology where it can be used to trace phosphorylated molecules e.g. in elucidating metabolic pathways, and radioactively label DNA. Phosphorus has a short half-life of 14.29 days and decays into sulfur 32 by beta decay as shown in this nuclear equation. Production 1.709 MeV of energy is released during the decay. The kinetic energy of the electron varies with an average of approximately 0.5 MeV and the remainder of the energy is carried by the nearly undetectable electron antineutrino. In comparison to other beta radiation emitting nuclides the electron is moderately energetic. It is blocked by around 1 m of air or 5 mm of acrylic glass. Uses the sulfur-32 nucleus produced is in the ground state so there is no additional gamma-ray emission. Nuclear Medicine Phosphorus-32 has important uses in medicine, biochemistry, and molecular biology. Its short half-life means useful quantities have to be produced synthetically. Phosphorus-32 can be generated synthetically by irradiation of sulfur-32 with moderately fast neutrons as shown in this nuclear equation. Biochemistry and Molecular Biology The sulfur-32 nucleus captures the neutron and emits a proton, reducing the atomic number by one while maintaining the mass number of 32. Plant Sciences this reaction has also been used to determine the yield of nuclear weapons. Phosphorus is abundant in biological systems and, as a radioactive isotope is almost chemically identical with stable isotopes of the same element, phosphorus-32 can be used to label biological molecules. The beta radiation emitted by the phosphorus-32 is sufficiently penetrating to be detected outside the organism or tissue which is being analyzed. Safety Many radioisotopes are used as tracers in nuclear medicine, including iodine-131, phosphorus-32, and technetium-99M. Phosphorus-32 is of particular use in the identification of malignant tumors because cancerous cells have a tendency to accumulate more phosphate than normal cells. The location of the phosphorus-32 can be traced from outside the body to identify the location of potentially malignant tumors. The radiation emitted by phosphorus-32 can be used for therapeutic as well as diagnostic purposes. The use of 32p chromic phosphate has been explored as a possible chemotherapy agent to treat disseminated ovarian cancer. In this situation it is the long-term toxic effects of beta radiation from phosphorus 32 accumulating in the cancerous cells which has the therapeutic effect. The phosphorus 32 is widely used radioisotope for cancer detection and treatment, especially in eyes and skin cancer. The metabolic pathways of organisms extensively use phosphorus in the generation of different biomolecules within the cell. Phosphorus-32 finds use for analyzing metabolic pathways in pulse chase experiments where a culture of cells is treated for a short time with a phosphorus-32 containing substrate. 
The sequence of chemical changes which happen to the substrate can then be traced by detecting which molecules contain the phosphorus 32 at multiple time points following the initial treatment. DNA contains a large quantity of phosphorus in the phosphodiester linkages between bases in the oligonucleotide chain. DNA can therefore be tracked by replacing the phosphorus with phosphorus 32. This technique is extensively used in southern blot analysis of DNA samples. In this case a phosphorus 32 containing DNA probe hybrid ICs to its complementary sequence where it appears in a gel. Its location can then be detected by photographic film. Phosphorus 32 is used in plant sciences for tracking a plant's uptake of fertilizer from the roots to the leaves. The phosphorus 32 labeled fertilizer is given to the plant hydroponically or via water in the soil and the usage of the phosphorus can be mapped from the emitted beta radiation. The information gathered by mapping the fertilizer uptake show how the plant takes up and uses the phosphorus from fertilizer. The high energy of emitted beta particles and the low half-life of phosphorus 32 make it potentially harmful, its maximum specific activity is 338 tbq slash mol. Typical safety precautions when working with phosphorus 32 include wearing a personal dosimeter to monitor exposure and an acrylic or perspex radiation shield to protect the body. Dense shielding such as lead, is less effective due to the high-energy bremsstrahlung produced by the interaction of the beta particle and the shielding. Because the beta radiation from phosphorus 32 is blocked by around 1 m of air it is also advisable to wear dosimeters on the parts of the body, for example the fingers, which come into close contact with the phosphorus 32 containing sample.